um, where I'm a counselor as well um, for the disability services. Um, Great, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. We're just gonna share a little bit about our C2C program here at West LA College. So our program is actually a partnership, a collaboration between Department of Rehabilitation and the California Community College Chancellor's Office. Um, West LA College is uh, in its seventh year. This fall began our seventh year um, where we are one of eight colleges who hosts and has a C2C or college to career program on its campus. And the college to career programs actually began 10 years ago um, as a pilot project. And the project included a total of five campuses. So I'm gonna actually share that as well. And you'll see here on the map, the original five colleges are the one in the darker green, the, the forest green, Santa Rosa Junior College, Sacramento City College, College of Alameda, North Orange Community College District and the San Diego Community College District. And those five campuses were in a pilot project. And during that pilot program, the 2011 to the 2013 year, um, they were essentially a research project and collecting data to see whether the success of their programs actually resulted in the um, successful outcomes and improved outcomes both academically um, and employment wise for their, um, their program participants for the students at their campuses. Um, spoiler alert, the results were quite successful. And so not only were those five campuses issued a contract renewal, um, but the federal government actually issued the Department of Rehabilitation additional funding in order for DOR and the state uh, chancellor's office to be able to award three additional community colleges uh, with the opportunity to start a college to career program on their campus. Um, many community colleges apply from all over the state. We have 115 community colleges in total. So you can imagine how many applied. Um, three were given the opportunity to submit forward a contract and West LA College was one of those three. The other two were Shasta College and Fresno College. Um, so our three campuses were kind of the newer colleges, the babies, if you will, um, at that time. And we also had the opportunity to really learn from our sister campuses, um, you know, what went well, what their challenges were, so that we didn't have to repeat any sort of bumps along the road that maybe they hit um, and also allow ourselves to consider the unique differences in our geographic area based on our demographics. Because as you can see from where all the campuses are located, clearly they're in very different areas of the state and they do offer very different programs um, and the diversity can vary as well with regards to the student population. So all of that we do take into account. Um, but all eight campuses do really work in partnership as a collaborative team where the coordinators meet monthly, the job developers meet nearly monthly, the education coaches meet quarterly, sometimes more frequently. Um, and we really try to streamline our programs um, in order to provide the best services that we can to students in the programs. This is what we like to call our pyramid to success. Um, it's a great visual, we think anyway, to help um, students or prospective students and their families, as well as teachers, service coordinators, um, social workers, therapists, anyone who might be interested in our program or considering referring someone, um, in that it kind of walks you through the steps. So a person could certainly come to an information session like this, or they could learn about our program um, online um, at our website wlac.edu forward slash c2c, see the number two c. Um, so either way is fine. Sometimes we get formal referrals, you know, sometimes we get people calling in from um, informally and that sort of thing. But either way, we do have to receive an application in order for an applicant to be considered an official applicant. Um, our college to career application is available on our website. Um, and we can certainly provide it to anyone who's in need or of interest um, after tonight's event as well. 
Once we receive the application, um, we are looking to see whether or not an individual meets the basic eligibility requirements, which we'll go through in a moment. And if they do meet the basic um, eligibility requirements, then the, we'll, we'll interview them. We'll invite them in for an interview. Um, the interviews are currently taking place on Zoom. Um, so the, the virtual interview is a panel interview. And the panelists include um, members of the CBC staff at West LA College, as well as um, staff from Department of Rehabilitation. Following that interview, an applicant is either accepted into the program or not accepted into the program. If they're not accepted into the program, the um, other opportunities available at our campus and also um, other considerations or other program um, options in the community are provided. And if an applicant is um, a really good candidate, but maybe just not quite ready, either they don't think they're ready or maybe the program doesn't feel they're quite ready or even their family might change their mind and feel they're not quite ready, Sometimes an applicant can even be accepted and defer a year. So we have had that happen. Um, or sometimes we'll encourage an applicant to reapply, you know, that maybe they didn't get accepted this year, um, but we have a lot of reason to believe that if they work on, uh, you know, these sort of one, two, three kind of things that we might suggest to them, that by the following year, they'll probably be much more prepared um, to apply. So those, those kind of um, situations do occasionally occur as well. If a student is accepted, we always tell students that they do have to accept us back because we know that students are applying to different programs out there, community programs, college-based programs, um, you know, lots of different opportunities that exist in this uh, great county of ours. So we do require that a student actually say, yes, thank you for accepting me, and I do accept, or I do defer, or, or no, thank you, I'm not interested. If a student does accept, then we start to move them through the process of onboarding or enrolling them into the program. One of the very next steps is applying to the college itself. Our C2C application is different than the college application. So the student would have to actually apply to the uh, community college through what's called the CCC apply process. And we walk them through all of that. Um, they would also have to apply to Department of Rehabilitation. Um, because as I said, Department of Rehabilitation is our collaborative partner. They are the funder of our program. So all of our students are required to be or become Department of Rehabilitation consumers. Again, we walk them through that process, help them get that paperwork, assist them with filling out the paperwork if necessary, um, and assure that they've submitted it to the right place. Um, and also help facilitate scheduling an intake appointment with the DOR counselor. We do have one DOR office and one DOR counselor that we work with directly. And so that is our liaison and we uh, coordinate all of those appointments. The intake appointments with DOR can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and typically a C2C staff would be present as well. Once they have had their intake with DOR, they are on their way and um, DOR will kind of walk them through those details. I'm not gonna go into all of that today, but the goal is to get them into what's called an IPE, which is the Individualized Plan for Employment. That's a DOR term. And that's a really critical part of any consumer's active case with Department of Rehabilitation. So we work really closely with the student and or their support team, which could be their family, could be an independent living, um, services provider, could be a tailored services provider, could be a life coach, um, but we work really closely with the student at the center to develop that employment goal and to have that employment goal be consistent with that student's interests, their um, academic interests, their employment interests, um, really aligning those two things that they maybe are already skilled in or maybe areas where they've expressed interest in the past or even had an internship or volunteer experience in the past, maybe even in high school or through their church, their synagogue, their um, local neighborhood. So then what happens is we work with them to schedule them an intake appointment with our DSPS office. So it's a lot of paperwork up front. We always forewarn students and their families of that because we certainly don't want anyone to get overwhelmed, but a lot of paperwork can understandably be overwhelming. Um, but we'll walk them through that as well. DSPS is the Disability Students Programs and Services on campus. Every community college here in the state of California does have that program. 
and they do have their own application. So they will fill out their application. We'll walk them through the process of how to submit that and any necessary documentation as well. And then they will have an intake appointment with the DSPS staff, typically the counselor. When they meet with the DSPS counselor, they will schedule their, or they will create their educational plan. And it's so early on, a lot of times students will, will change their educational goal, or maybe they're not really sure what that is. Similarly with the IPE, with DOR, the employment goal. But we always explain to students, we do have to have an education goal. We do have to have an employment goal. We do want the two to align. And we do understand that those things can change and often will change over time. One of the things that's really unique about our CDC program is that the students can have both. They can be actively in school and working towards their studies and their academics and their academic goals, and also be actively working towards their employment goals not solely from an academic standpoint, but because we are actively helping them seek and secure an internship or volunteer experience, but typically an internship from pretty early on in the program. Um, and then shortly after that, a job. So we, we know that through the career exploration process, students' interests might change. They could think they were interested in something. And then as they start to study that something, they're not really all that interested in it anymore. Or maybe they really enjoy studying it, but they go out to do an internship in that area and it's not really what they thought it would be. So that's something really unique to our program um, that we are able to kind of do both of those and be funded by Department of Rehabilitation as we engage in both of those activities at the same time. You'll see in the next um, section here of the pyramid, it says accomplish educational goals. That's a wide range of... Uh, you know, a very short to long period that it could take. We could have a student accomplish their educational goals in a semester or two. We could have a student completing their educational goals in three years, um, or they might even be continuing to complete their educational goals even after they've left our program. So that's really individualized and really varies by student and also depending on what the educational goals are. There's also short-term and long-term educational goals. So sometimes students will work on non-credit certificates, maybe even a credit certificate, and they might even complete what we call a sequencing of stackable certificates. So maybe by the time they graduate from our program, they've actually completed like four or five certificates, but maybe they've been doing so well academically that they decide, well, I've completed the C2C program, but actually I'm going to stay at West LA College for another semester or maybe even another year because now I'm working on my AA degree. Um, so sometimes we see that and that's absolutely okay. That might be more of a long-term goal, however, because the C2C program is a maximum of three years. And sometimes our students need a little more time than that if they're working towards an AA degree. The next rung up, you'll see vocational preparation. And that's the area within which we focus on helping get students job ready, employment ready, really helping them learn about the labor market, um, the various jobs and careers that are out there and that are directly related to certain kinds of studies at the college and or certain majors, um, what those might be called out in the field. And um, so that can include anything from taking a job readiness class to attending a regular job group with our job developer, to having one-on-one -on -one meetings with any of our staff, or um, creating a, a master application, um, putting together a resume, all of those sort of things are what we would describe as vocational preparation. And then of course, the, the last, the tippy top of our pyramid is a job because we are an employment program. It is the focus and the core of our program and everything that we do. Um, it is part of um, how and why we are funded by Department of Rehabilitation because they are a vocational program. Um, so ultimately all of our students who complete the program successfully have completed it successfully because they have landed a job and retained that job. Um, earlier, I mentioned eligibility requirements. So this is a, sort of a brief snapshot of what eligibility looks like. 